Welcome back to The Things. My name is Michael Mello, and I'm here with the one and only Chase from Too Off to Handle. And we're going to answer some of your fan submitted questions. And I got to admit, some of these are pretty savage. Chase, are you ready for this? Let's go. So, like, I'm going through this emotional roller coaster with Carly. It's not working out with Carly. So, it's like, obviously, like, I'm not going to, like, pursue a relationship that's not working. We're at this retreat. We're trying to get better. Tabitha came in. She's gorgeous. Obviously, her and I have like a connection. We went after each other like right away. We had a lovely date where I'm licking chocolate off of her face, having like a great time. Like, you know, I go to bed with her every night. Like I was big on like following the rules and the tabs comes in and kind of like teaches me like, you know, genuine connection, you know, sometimes means more than rules do. I was really liking her a lot. And we had like a lot of good times together. And she sat there through that moment of Carly just chewing me out. She, you know, all my dirty laundry was aired that day and like you know like it finally like released all the tension and like i felt mm -hmm. like i was going in a really good direction with uh tabitha at the time and obviously you know like we had the date i went on this date with tabitha and it's beautiful we had like dolphins swimming through the water the sunset you know on this beautiful rock that I, I wanted to go up there the whole time i was at the retreat and and i'm sitting at this date tabitha's looking great but like i feel like something's off that day and so like mm -hmm. i pull, like i sit down we start having a conversation and then she mentioned she's like you know babe like i think that you know we're here on holiday we're having you know like you should understand like i'm just here for a good time and like it just like i was like whoa what is going on like i thought we were like i'm i wasn't trying to ask you to be my girlfriend i was just like you know i thought we were vibing like we did work it out um after that like you know she she was like i don't really know like what i meant by that she told me like you know we had genuine connection with each other uh, we built like a really good relationship. I actually wrote Tabitha like a uh, uh, in detail love letter um, for Christmas that I sent to her with, you know, flowers and chocolates and wine. Wow, and, what a romantic. Yeah, and Tabitha, we, we actually, um, we did get a green light um, at the very end that was not um, shown, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, distance did come in the way with Tabitha and I, obviously she was on the other side of the world. But mm -hmm. yeah, we, we uh, worked things out um, after that breakup. But in that initial moment, um, I was so hurt. I think after that, I got up after that date, I actually picked her up and I ran down the hill. Cause like the day didn't end bad. Like we had like a great time on the day after that. I picked her up and I ran down the hill with her and had her laughing and stuff and I set her down. And then I walked off and then I was like, it like hit me again. And I was like, ouch, I really like that girl. And so like I asked the production, I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling really well. Can I just go lay down for a little bit? And I went and I laid in like a private room and kind of just like sobbed. I was like, just <laughs> I was being sad boy. I think it's a little bit of a petty move, very immature. Um, like I guess I see where he's coming from, but like also at the same time, I think that he needs to like, like bro, like it's no bad blood, especially because now that we're on the same management, the same team, I think like the whole, he's the, he's the only one that like unfollowed me. Now that I've unfollowed Carly, like he's the only one that's unfollowed me. So it's like, mm -hmm. bro, Emily didn't even unfollow me. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And I think you guys need to understand, like they quarantined us for two weeks with no phone, no social interaction with anybody. And then you go into this villa and they're telling us like, we are gonna get to hook up, we're gonna get to do all these things. And then all of a sudden, like you can't do any of that. And I get, people are like, oh, like how do you just not sustain? It's like, if you really like somebody, they're very attractive. Like what matters more to you, money or a genuine connection? And a lot of people out there who are listening, I'm sure understand that bad sex and bad kissing tells you a lot about a person. Absolutely not. I don't think that was karma at all. I think, I think it was just, like I said, I think one relationship just wasn't working out and I wasn't trying to force it. Mm -hmm. And then, and, you know, somebody else came in. So I opened up my heart again and tried to, you know, do that. If you want to call it karma for me, you know, breaking up with somebody and then getting broken up with, then so be it. But I just think that's just how life goes, you know? Uh, probably the cockroach, just because I don't like bugs landing on my face. <laughs> I don't think anyone does. So you're not alone there. Oh, I want to go on Dancing with the Stars next. I've pushed super hard for that. I think I could do really good on um, the challenge. Uh, I think I would kill it on the circle. Netflix is the yeah. circle. Oh man, I would I would go in there and just uh, I'd play myself obviously, and I would just go on there and just have a, a day. Yeah, I definitely plan on playing in the NFL. Uh, my dream team, I'd love to you know play in one of the four corners. So either the Seattle Seahawks, um, the Los Angeles Rams, the Miami Dolphins, or the New York Giants. Those are like the four that I would love to go play for. Definitely inside of a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. I'm gonna. That's. That, I'm just gonna give you virtual props because I don't know how you got away with that. But good for you. It's dark. You know, the movie's loud. You sit up in the top back. 
you got a beautiful girl, one thing leads to another, and then you're just like, you know what, might as well. <laughs> There's a game plan. There's a game plan. <laughs>